everyone, welcome back to another Royal Hive video. It's me, it's Limey, and today I'm going to be making some Six the Musical outfits in Royal High. Now, if you didn't know, Six the Musical is a musical about the six wives of Henry VIII, and he was an old monarch of England. So, if you would like to check out the soundtrack, then do wherever you please. It's like on Spotify or if you want to get it from iTunes or anything like that, then go listen to it. It's really fun. But I'm going to be making the outfits based on all of the wives, the six queens in that musical. So before we get started, I want to list them off for you. It is Catherine of Aragon, Anne Boleyn, Jane Seymour, Anne of Cleves, Catherine Howard and Catherine Parr. So those are the six wives I'm going to be making outfits on today. So let's get started with this video and let's get started making these outfits. So first is Catherine of Aragon. She was the first wife and was married to Henry for 24 years. And of course, she's a peregrine. So she was actually a Catholic and Henry couldn't get a honest divorce from her as the Pope denied the request. So what he did, he made his own church and religion and created the Church of England. And it basically holds the same you know beliefs mostly as Catholicism so it's kind of similar but he did create his own church just so he could divorce his first wife Catherine of Aragon so he could marry his second wife Anne Boleyn which is fascinating to me but this outfit I try to get it as accurate I'm going to be having pictures up for this video because uh, for these recreation videos it's easy for me to show the pictures in the corner for you to get an idea of what I'm trying to remake or recreate so yeah this is Catherine of Aragon the first wife the first queen and by a lot of people's uh, opinions about the history that she was the only queen <laughs> But yeah, here is the final outfit. I thought it was super nice and to be honest, as accurate as I can get it to the original. Next up, of course, we have Anne Boleyn, who I previously mentioned. She is the second wife of Henry and gave birth to the future queen, Elizabeth I, who, if you didn't know, was one of the first monarchs in England. Some people think she's the first, but she's not. She was the second because Mary I came before her, who was the daughter of... Catherine of Aragon, who we've already seen before. But obviously we are making these outfits on the musical based version of this, which has its roots in history, but it's not completely historically accurate. Like, not really at all. <laughs> it's a lot of things that it kind of like brushes over and did kind of compensates for certain things for, you know, entertaining us. But yeah. And uh, she Anne Boleyn was accused of cheating on Henry and was sentenced to death and she lost her head which if in the musical you've heard the song lose your head a lot of people have um you know that's true to history she did in fact um get executed for charges of adultery so it's super sad we don't actually know if these were actual true accusations but during tudor times there was laws like saying that treason could be committed through word of mouth and you know other such crimes so we don't actually know but it's super sad despite all of that and yeah this is the ambulance outfit as accurate as i could get it we didn't have the correct texture but i still like it next is jane seymour and she was the third wife of henry the eighth and she gave birth to henry's son edward not the first son but the first son to survive and yeah, Edward didn't live a long life at all, but he was Henry's heir and rightful heir to the throne. Jane also sadly passed not long after she gave birth to Edward, but Henry did end up really loving her and admiring her even after she had passed away and became really infamous as the wife who Henry truly loved, as it's kind of joked about in the musical, because it's kind of sad to think about that he didn't love his other wives, but uh, we don't really know the full story or anything like this. I think the lives of all of these women were super, super sad, but I think Six does a good job of celebrating what they did. Next up we have Anne of Cleves who was actually from Germany and Anne of Cleves and Henry didn't really meet each other in person maybe once before they were married and yeah they were like they fell in love with, you, with each other through the paintings they saw of each other but actually in real life they didn't look like their paintings at all apparently um so um 
you know, not long after they were married, they were divorced. It was probably about six months or so. And Anne actually got to live in a home away from court. And she had like all the luxuries of a queen, but just didn't have to marry Henry, which, you know, is a win-win. <laughs> so I think... I think Anne had like the best outcome out of all of the wives. I mean, it's 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 a sad thing to think about. I mean, it's not a competition or anything, but um, she did definitely uh, have a better life than some of the the other women who were married to Henry because um, a lot of the other women were like had a lot of tragedy in their lives and a lot of things that went wrong, like Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard, who we will get to next. But um, yeah Anne of Cleves she's incredible and I love her in the musical to death I think she's so empowering <laughs> so amazing but I was actually trying for so long to try and get the outfit to look right um you no know, but we have a lot of new accessories now with the jacket and stuff to try and get as close as possible obviously it's not going to be super 100% accurate to the real thing because how can it be while i was filming this video i actually found a new way to like showcase these outfits off and i'm kind of in love with it it looks really like clean and nice next is Catherine howard who was only around 17 or 18 when she married henry and henry was like 40 years old at the time i mean ew that is gross disgusting um get out <laughs> <laughs> it's so gross to think about but she was accused of cheating on Henry about two years after they were married or somewhere in that time period and she actually was executed at about 19 or 20 years old that is super sad and her whole history is just like plagued with tragedy and grievances and it's just so horrible so if you want to like research into Catherine Howard then you can do but I'm just warning you now that you might find some things that are upsetting and triggering so just so you are aware um, it's not a nice history that she had but it's definitely uh, interesting to learn about and definitely the lives of these Tudor women because it's a lot different you know society wise than it is today but you know thinking about it now uh, of course it was horrible and it was really gross some of the things that these women went through uh, but the times were a lot a lot different and a lot of these things were just kind of okay to do during that time which is kind of crazy to think about but of course this outfit one of my favorites I think Catherine Howard is just one of my favorites in the show Last, but definitely, certainly, not least, is Catherine Parr. Wow, Henry was married to one of Catherine's three, to be exact. Half of his wives were called Catherine. But Catherine Howard was the one wife that outlived Henry VIII. She became his widow. And she later went on to remarry. And she even lived with the future Queen Elizabeth. And that story is a another very sad one if you want to look into that one i actually had to pre-plan this outfit because i was really struggling with like finding something that i could use the trousers for and i came up with this design and i think it's it's super nice actually i mean it's not completely accurate i can't have the, like the stripes down them because i couldn't find a design but i thought it was nice so that is it that is all of the queens and 10 out of 10 points to whoever gets this reference <laughs> but um yeah that is all of the queens i find history very fascinating so it was uh, a good time for me talking about the history of these queens but also talking a little bit about the show um and the musical but um yeah if you did enjoy this video please 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 let me know because I would love to make more like musical outfit videos. I did a lot um, last year, but I kind of stopped doing them because of copper and stuff like that. I mean, I think I should be okay to sort of experiment with this stuff again, but <laughs> definitely not anything that's character based like um, certain children's shows that I won't mention in case coppers still thinks that um, they can flag me. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, that is it. Um, thank you all so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe to the channel, please do or follow me on Twitter at it's Limey. Ooh, um, I nearly forgot to not say that correctly because I recently changed my art and the channel name, if you didn't know, to It's Limey from It's Doodles previously. But I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.